guys, Ralph here. True Power Trumpet Fitness. Just got out of the shower and I'm ready to go. Now, you saw the thumbnail. I'm giving you two today. The last several videos have really elicited a lot of questions. And I want to go over those questions and I cannot get it done in one video. The way this laptop works, it does not upload, download, any video more than 15 minutes. That's including the smithers at the beginning and the mainers at the end. Okay, so if I want to do justice to these questions, I need more than 15 minutes. All right, so if that's the case, I'm going to take two videos today and answer the questions. They were pretty significant questions, and I don't want to let them fester. Okay, a couple of them, you, you can see why I didn't want to leave them over the, uh, over the weekend. Okay. Haven't played yet today. Let's see what we got. Big and as easy as a freaking house. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything. But I'm going to say something. <laughs> but that F and G is right around the corner. I love it. Anyway, so let me explain. Let me explain. If you've been following these this channel since its inception, which is going on two years, uh, about a year and three quarters, I started the first 50, 60 videos or so, I wasn't counting, were a lot of talk about kettlebell, okay? Now, it became apparent to, them, to me that the bulk of the audience didn't give a crap about the kettlebell, okay? Now, I was planning on uh, opening a new channel anyway at the time, which I did. True Power Health and Fitness and tr uh, had a brand new one, True Power 100 plus mile per hour for pitching. Okay, they all talk about health, fitness, kettlebell, and all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested really for more than what I give you here, I don't think you will be, but any more than what I give you here, then go to those channels. Okay, now, uh, fast forward how longer to the last several days. I talked about Maynard, how his life was too short. I checked it, he'd be just about 90 now if he had lived. And God bless him, he probably didn't know what to do or anything else, but if he was in my, I'm not, not you know, beat my chest, but if he was in my physical condition, he'd still be playing and he'd still be killing it. Anyway, with that said, the fact that he was so distended in his belly with the cirrhosis and Lord only knows what's going on, JJ had some real nice thoughts on, on that as well and uh, whatever. But, he couldn't compress. Okay. Now, I had a handful of questions in the comment section and even more, close to a dozen, um, on emails about how to implement the kettlebells in, into your practice session. Now, I don't know if that's because I've been beating you up for a year and a half and just telling you indirectly that it's very important, or maybe you were interested in, in the beginning and you didn't get to it, or maybe you've just come around to thinking, you know what? Maybe I should check out what he says. But guys, it's very, very simple. Now, if you have my book, Double C Manifesto, or PNF Max, okay, which is also on the same website, it goes into quite an in-depth discussion of PNF. So I'm not going to do that now. I also did a couple previous videos on PNF on, by themselves, okay? And you know what I do? I will do, maybe tomorrow, I will do a... PNF uh, video on the 100 plus mile per hour, 100 mile per hour uh, channel. If you want a little more than what I give you here, go get it there. Okay? Fair enough. Now, PNF, the correct use of tension to create strength, flexibility, and endurance. I told you. That's what we're doing here. Okay? That's PNF. That is what's going on. It's a scientific name for what we're doing. 
musical, uh, physical, put your tongue through your teeth and press it. That's P and F. All right. Now, I also did a thing where you're pressing your thumb down your forearm. You remember that one? Okay. Now, the active use of tension creates flex, uh, strength, flexibility, endurance. From that point, and you think about what, this has nothing to do with the tongue and those chops. You're right. But by a, a concept called hyperirradiation, the more muscles that you can enact and put into a certain and engage in any activity, no matter what it is, the stronger, more flexible, and more endurance you're going to have. It stands to reason that if this is all directly or indirectly connected, which the physical body is, it just is, um, it stands to reason that the more muscles you can get involved and engage in any activity, whether it be lifting a kettlebell, hitting a baseball, throwing a baseball, kicking a soccer ball, the better, more strength, flexibility, endurance you're going to have. Okay? So even though the muscles that we use in PNF and kettlebell are not directly affecting the armature, it does engage. And, and you can prove it yourself. I'm going to show you how you do it. And I don't care what you say. Maynard, Harry James, Horace Fisher, Louis Armstrong, Doc Severinsen, all of them, if they were aware of this concept and they, they practice the way I do, and they, I hope you do, they'd be better players. I, I, I completely 100% just by the fact that they are engaging more muscles. Okay, so I'm going to play a silly little ditty from the Arvin Characteristic Studies that I do. Okay, number one. First few, first few bars. Okay? I'm going to play it once. Just get out of the chair and play it. Then I'm going to do a minute and a half or so of PNF from the book. I'm going to go maybe number three or number 18 if anybody has the book. It doesn't matter. It really and truly doesn't matter. And then I'm going to go play it again. And then I'm going to incorporate kettlebell with it. Now, again, if you remember PNF, if that's the kettlebell and that's you, that's what the kettlebell is doing. It's taking PNF and taking it to even the next level. All right? By adding resistance to it. Okay. Got it? And this is what I do every single day. All right. Okay, now, I'm going to do the exact same thing again, but I'm going to do, and literally, I'll measure, I'll time it. Okay, i got a big clock right there. This is number three. And when I tell you guys... This is exactly what I'm doing every single day. You know, everybody wants me to give them a routine, give them a routine, give them a routine. This is what I do. Now, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. It's not necessarily this, this exercise or kettlebell or whatever, but this is what I do. Okay? Number that took 30 seconds. Breathe through the nose. This is all tight now. less than a minute, even with my talking. Now, in that less than a minute, every muscle in my body has more strength, more flexibility, and more endurance than it did a minute ago. I can't help but be a stronger player. Now, we've talked a lot, and a lot of you have complained that the microphone on this laptop is not great. I'm not sure if it's going to come through or not, but you got to take my word for it. <laughs> You've been with me this long. I think you take your my word for it. Okay? Uh. 
it out. I'm going to add resistance to the PNF and I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay. Kettlebell. This is a 35-pounder, uh, 16K. I'll do 10 snatches. And this is what I do. If I'm going to practice an hour, I will do, and again, there's no rhyme or reason to it. If I'm going to practice an hour, I will get 10 sets of 10 of some sort of kettlebell. All right. Now, if and when you start doing this, you're going to see there's a cardio thing involved, and you've got to let yourself calm down, and you're going to get dizzy and all this sort of stuff. So that's, that's a, if you, it's considered a drawback, that's it. But once you get the hang of it, there's no problem. Okay? I'll play the same thing again. I hope you can hear the difference. what I meant. This video is right at 12 minutes, so i got to wrap it up. Okay? I can't begin to tell you how much easier that third one was than the second one, and the second one than the first one. And compared to the third one, the first one, and I wasn't struggling on the first one. It's turbocharging it. Getting all your muscles hyper-radiated, getting stronger, more flexible, and more endurance. That's what you do. Okay? get off here. I'll upload it. In about an hour, I will do the other one. Okay, guys. Love you all, and we'll see you in about an hour. Well, it'll be about two minutes after this, if you just go to the next one. Uh, that's it.